In this video lesson, we're going to be creating the multi-view drawing for problem 1-3. Um, so you should have a printout given to you, or you can find this online, uh, provided by me somewhere, either email or Google Classroom or some other source. The isometric gives us the information about the size of the object. So what we need to do is first, um, we'll since I have the isometric already in front of me, I can start by making the multi-view drawing. But this is going to eventually be drawn on your orthographic projection paper, your multi-view paper. I'll draw that on the isometric grid. Um, so let's just say that we already have this drawn in isometric here. Um, at this stage in the course, you should already know how to make isometric drawings. And um, that's why I'm skipping it in this video. So we're just going to set up the... Uh, front, top, and side view for this drawing. Alright, so with Power of Movie Magic, we have the isometric drawn. We're going to go over three by three and start with our construction lines in order to draw the front view. So keep in mind, construction lines are thin. You barely notice them. So this is our front view. So since that's the front, we're going to count the number of squares. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long. So we can make an object line that is eight long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the whole height of the object from the top to the bottom is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. We're not going to see this angle until we draw the side view. So let's finish this L shape here first. So this is two up. So right here we draw two up from that corner which is here we go one two three four five six over and then one up so one two three four five six I can put a little dot there to help me figure out where I'm stopping and I can draw the rest of this object okay. this line right here needs to be shown here so that's one two three from the bottom one two three We also have a surface here that's going to be represented as a hidden line. And that surface is, uh, let's see, from the inside you can see one, two, three, four away from this edge. So one, two, three, four. That means this uh, grid line is going to get the hidden line. So there should be at least four dashes in your drawing. So now that we have our front view drawn, we can use that view to extend construction lines to the top. So every edge or surface can drag out construction lines. So those construction lines, there's going to be one, two, three, four construction lines in this example. We can take construction lines from the bottom to help with the side. So everything gets a construction line dragged out to the right side, just like that. So we can, it doesn't matter now, we can start with the top or the side. Um, I'll just start with the top. I'm going to go one, two, three, four above. And between the two construction lines, I don't even need to count anymore because the construction lines help me make my part. Um, it is four wide. I'm sorry, the depth is four units. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay. And I'll draw the other side of it. Now, if I'm looking at it from the top, okay, so that's the top view. This is one unit wide, 
then this sheep, then this. So I'll make that one unit and one unit. So this line right here and this line. So this line is this line. This line is this line. And it's going in one, two, three, four. So I can just line up that construction line with that hidden line and it shows me where that surface is. Same with this construction line is showing me the edge of that surface. I know that the top here is too wide and just visually um, it'll look like a square anyway from the top. And there's the top view of the part. Okay, so now we're going to draw the side. Um, so we obviously have an angle here, so we'll have to figure out how to make that. We'll draw everything else and save that for last. So I'm going to see these faces, this face. So this is a two by, this is a one by two. I'm going to go over one, two, three, four. I'm going to go over five for this one. Um, the whole thing is four, and that's just going to look like a line. So wait, one, two, three, four, five. That's just going to be a line that's four units long. If I line up my front view, I'll see that that surface and that surface are the same. Um, this construction line right here is indicating this edge, so I can I can draw up to that. And the whole thing is five tall, so on the right side, one, two, three, four, five, and that that lines up to that. This is too wide, so the top of that is going to be too wide on the side view. And doing this sets up this angle. So that angle, and then I just connect those two, and I get that angle. So this side view is not done yet. We need to draw the uh, these surfaces here. So it's only one unit wide. From there, so now this part has a front, top, and side view. This is problem 1-3, so make sure you title it problem 1-3, date it, put your name, and turn that in to earn your credit. This is how all technical drawings start off. Um, it's easy when you have the isometric and a grid so you can count stuff and lay it out properly. <clears throat> You'll lose points if parts are not lining up. So if I were to take a ruler and line up all the edges, if they don't line up, you lose points for that. So make sure all of your edges and features of each part is lining up properly. Okay? So move on to making the rest of these problems. Um, there may or may not be video lessons provided for each of them.